So which fit of t-shirts is gonna work best with your body? Well, by the end of this t-shirt fit guide video, you're gonna have all the information that you need to make the right decision so that you can always look great in t-shirts. Today, I'll be covering the three most popular fits available that you'll be able to get your hands on in most retailers. And I'll be working my way from the baggiest fitting shirts available to the tightest ones, which includes regular fit, slim fit, and muscle fit, also known as skinny fit. To be clear, the fits of t-shirts in general is gonna vary somewhat across different brands, but these generalizations will give you a good idea of what to expect. And if you don't know where to start, I'm gonna leave some links to my favorite types of t-shirts in the description below. First, I'll cover the features of each fit, and then I'll wrap up my video with my recommendations for each of these types of fit. To start out with, we've got regular fit. This is the cut that's offered by most retailers. This is the standard t-shirt that's generally designed to fit over the bodies of most men. There are some key features to look out for here. If you're of average weight, then you can expect most of these t-shirts to be quite baggy through the torso, with a significant amount of excess fabric that will often fold on itself. Also, some of these standard cuts can be quite long. This is just a simple design choice to make this shirt bigger so that it physically fits over more guys. These t-shirts will often have a large neck opening, although with this particular t-shirt, that doesn't seem to be the case. One noticeable factor is the sleeves. Now with a lot of regular fit shirts, you'll find the shoulders themselves to be quite wide, and then the sleeves to be not only baggy, but also quite long, with these finishing closer to the elbow rather than mid bicep. These sleeves will also form a triangle shape when you're resting your arms by your side. Once more, these armholes are quite big so that loads of guys' arms can physically fit inside them. So overall, the shape of the shirt is quite boxy. Let's take a look at something slimmer, specifically the slim fit. You will immediately notice that the slim fit is a lot more fitted through the torso. There's significantly less baggy material, even though the shirt is the same size as the previous one. A slim fit t-shirt may also have a slight taper down towards the waist. Also, the torso section might fit slightly shorter. The neck area of most of these t-shirts will be quite standard and won't usually show the collarbone. And with regards to the sleeves, you'll notice that these are quite a lot tighter than the previous one. These will normally have a slightly higher armhole, which is narrower. There's a lot less excess fabric and they are slightly shorter too. These ones will normally finish somewhere around mid bicep. When resting your arms, you will notice that these don't nearly spear out as much as the regular fit. They stay a bit more contoured to the arm. Now it's time to move on to what's normally the tightest fit available. This is usually known as the muscle fit or in some cases a skinny fit. There's a few things that you'll notice immediately with this one. The first is that on the torso, this is again even tighter than the slim fit and it really shows the contours of your body. That's because these shirts will normally have some form of elastane in. You'll probably notice that the shoulders on most of these t-shirts will also fit narrower because the elasticity is pulling them in width ways. When we compare this to the slim fit, for instance, you will see that this sits slightly higher. Also, because of the elasticity, often these will sit slightly shorter on the torso and definitely have really tight sleeves. These ones will follow the full contours of your arm. So that is the three basic fits that you can get, and that's what they look like. But which one should you go for and what are my recommendations based on your body? Let's begin with a regular fit. Now regular fit t-shirts, because they're often quite big and baggy, they tend not to look very flattering on the majority of guys. If you're a skinny guy, for instance, then the excess material that's floating around on this type of t-shirt, it can leave you looking even skinnier. And if you're a muscular guy, then this excess material might just cover up your good body. In my opinion, the baggy sleeves are probably the worst part. If you've got a really big armhole, it just makes you look like you're wearing a t-shirt that's a size or two too big. And it makes your body look like it's not filling the material much. This type of aesthetic may work quite well if you're going for like a street style vibe. That sort of oversized trend, it can work. Also, it can work if you're a bigger guy. If you've got a bit of excess weight on you, you may not be able to physically fit yourself on some of the tighter options anyway. And if you do have chunkier limbs, then the baggier sleeves may not be an issue. However, if that isn't the case for you, then I'd recommend something else. As with regular fit, you kind of lose your body shape and the boxy cut doesn't look aesthetically very good. Let's talk slim fit then. For most guys with an average build, I'd recommend this one. The more tailored and shapely aesthetic tends to look better for most guys, and it helps to keep you looking a bit more in proportion. Because these t-shirts follow the contour of the arms better as well, I think that these look better when worn alone compared to the regular fit. Even if you haven't got many muscles, you can still have it so that your arms look like they're somewhat filling the material. And if you have got muscles, then you'll fill these no problem. Also, the slightly narrower torso tends to look great under a variety of jackets. As a result, this is the fit that normally I'll lean towards. 
as it makes good use of the body that you've got. That being said, what if you wanted something tighter? Well, I'd recommend the muscle fit on a couple of occasions. The first is if you're a guy who's got a great muscular body. The elasticity and tightness of the muscle fit can look great on your body, and it can showcase the muscles that you've got beneath without having to resort to something like a vest top. And alternatively, these can work well if you're a really skinny guy. If I go back about 10 years ago, I was really thin. And I wish that this style of t-shirt was more readily available back then. Because if you've got narrow shoulders, then these can fit well. If you've got skinny limbs, these can remain relatively tight to keep it looking like you're somewhat filling the material. And it means that you don't keep having to size down, which can leave you with other problems. There are some situations though where muscle fit isn't appropriate. For instance, these really aren't very flattering on a dad bod. If you've got a bit of a butter belly, everyone's gonna see it. Also, in some situations, the narrow shoulders on these can make it difficult to find one that fits, and you may even have to go up to the next size to find one that fits there. That being said, muscle fit can be really useful because they retain the stretch, especially around the sleeve area. They can stay looking tight while other types of t-shirts can often start to expand and then look baggy over time. But there are gonna be some types of super skinny fitting t-shirt out there that are just too tight to the extent where they're gonna be uncomfortable. So bear that in mind. What's your favorite fit of t-shirts and what do you wear at the moment? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more like it, then make sure you press the subscribe button and the notification notification bell as well and I'd love to hear if you want to see a video where I compare the crew neck to v-neck t-shirts either way I hope you enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and I'll see you in the next one